Hi, my name is Dylan Garza. This is my Lest We Forget project. My assignment was to select a controversial American figure from our area of study. Then prepare a presentation exploring the life that reconsiders his historical legacy in the 21st century. I thought about what American figures stood out to me to study and learn about. New and Knight stood out to me because of the beliefs he had which are similar to mine. For the intro and key points, you will learn about Newton's Knight's backstory, life circumstances, the decisions and events that changed catapulted Newton Knight into a historical record, the shortcomings that made my figure supposedly human, and how he should be remembered in the 21st century. You might actually be familiar with Newton Knight by the movie called Free State of Jones, which is a story based off the life, although some historical factors were altered in the movie. New and Knight may have been known as a traitor to some, but in my eyes, he was also a hero who made history and shaped American society as we know it today. Currently, our modern day society still struggles with racism, and although we don't, we don't have slaves, we do, we do deal with labor, trafficking, and target poverty Americans of all nationality. New and Knight made a big impact on, on racism and emancipation of slaves in Jones County that echoed the United States. Up until 2016, when the movie Free State Jones was released, New Knight was not well known or celebrated. To historians who have studied his life, he was known to be 150 years ahead of his time. Martin Luther King is well known today as a person who shaped equality. After studying New and Knight, he reminds me of Martin Luther King, but in his era, Newton stood up for his beliefs and actually led a small army of fugitive slaves and Confederate deserters in one of the most rebellious moves in American history. There was a controversy with Newton Knight because he was known as a deserter of the Confederacy during the Civil War. For my resources, I did the Free State of Jones and the Echo of the Black Horn, the movie Free State of Jones. On the right, you will see the book Free State of Jones and the Echo of the Black Horn and the movie Free State of Jones. Newton Knight was an American farmer soldier and a Southern Unionist in Mississippi. In the picture on the left, that is Newton Knight. He was born on November 10, 1837. He was raised a poor farm boy with no education in Jasper County farming until their home they built burned down. His wife taught him to read and write. On the right, that is his wife, Serena Turner. They raised three children in that home until moving back into Jones County. Abraham Lincoln was present during this time. In November 1860, slave-owning partners led Mississippi to join South Carolina and break away from the Union. This led to the Civil War in May of 1861. Mr. Knight joined the Confederate Army in 1861 enlisting in the 8th Mississippi Infantry Regiment on the right. He was a medic for the Confederacy. On the left, he that was his family. He had to join due to Christian law. He joined many friends and neighbors. Newton had voted to stay with the Union, so when he was forced to join, he stated that he would not fight the Union, but would go. Shortly after the Southern states passed the 20 Negro law, so a man with 20 Negroes or more could stop fighting and go home. That is when the war was referred to as a rich man war and a poor man's fight. The woman and children kept it hard to keep up the farmers while the men were serving in the army. Mr. Knight became upset when he learned that the Confederate had seized his family horses for their use. Newton was granted a furlough to return to Jones County. Once returning, it was learned how the woman, children, and old men were being mistreated in the Confederate army. Newton failed to return and desert the Confederate in, in October 1862. Many followed Newton. New and Knight and Jasper Collins evaded authorities due to deserting the Confederate Army. He formed the Knight Company in October 63, which consisted of the runaway slaves and other deserters. In this picture, this is his army with deserter slaves and some of his friends. They fought against the Confederacy and declared the loyalty to their union. The book named Free State Jones and the Echo of the Black Horn is referred to as referred as it in the horn was used to warn. The night company that Confederate soldiers were near. His company de 
defeated many Confederate soldiers, and he had gained a reputation that Confederate soldiers feared him. Not only did Newton Knight oppose slavery, but he freed his home county of Jones County from the rule of Confederate government by raising the U.S. flag over the courthouse. He declared Jones County as a free state known as the Free State of Jones. He did things to help those in need. He seized food, supplies meant for the army, and redistributed them to ordinary people in need. Newton Knight was just a normal farmer and community who stood up to the Confederacy to protect the townspeople and was against slavery. He fought along with slaves and helped them with even after the Civil War. He helped slaves that had been freed, but owners would not let them go. One short comment of the new one is that he ended up being a so against the Confederacy, but yet fought with them before deserting and fighting against them. He never owned slaves and was opposed to slavery, but yet fought with the Confederate soldiers against the Union, despite his beliefs. New and Knight should be remembered in the 21st century as a soldier in the Civil War that paid way to stand up against slavery and for the people and their beliefs. He was a voice for the poor, hardworking communities. I hope after what I have read that everyone has a better understanding of the life a new and Knight led and what he did in the lifetime that shaped history. I would like New and Knight to be remembered as a regular farmer who stood up against slavery, protected people and their beliefs in freedom.